in this video I am going to share with you my favorite ideas for adventures involving poison. So grab that rare plant, stop at that crystal potion bottle and let's get creating. Hello and welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Inwills. I'm a content creator and streamer based in the United Kingdom who produces videos on a range of topics, but you're here for the role-playing stuff. I can tell. Before we start, let me be completely transparent. The ideas that I'm going to share with you in this video first appeared in an episode of the podcast Mithras Matters, but I like them so much then and I wanted to share them in a video format. I have no idea how I'm going to get stock footage for this video. I really don't. <laughs> Motion away, please. I need B-roll. So when it comes to creating a series of adventures linked to poisons, I like to split it up into two parts. Number one, finding the antidote and the second one, finding the poison. So most adventures dealing with poison tend to revolve around the idea of finding an antidote. Now, initially, this could be to support a, a dying ruler or an important member of the town. And but sometimes I like to make it a little bit more personal maybe somebody very close to the party, a familiar NPC from the town where they're living, might be falling ill. For example, in the Mithras campaign we run, the person being poisoned that needed the antidote could be the party's favourite innkeeper of the hairy hobgoblin, Basil Earless or maybe even the party's favorite cartographer, Sylvester McCoon. He's a rather obnoxious cartographer. Come to think of it, the second one is probably not the best person for them to be finding an antidote for because they probably want him dead in any case, due to all the snide comments he makes. And if you would like more information about the obnoxious cartographer, then you can find an encounter involving him on my RPG encounter shop. The links are in the description. But rather than uh, NPC close to the party or an important ruler or king, there is another choice. The person needing the antidote could actually be one or all of the party members themselves. This could really add a real urgency to the adventure. Situations like, leave me, go on, we, I cannot make it. I'm going on as these poison slowly eats away at one of the characters with the opposing people saying no we will not leave you 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 can come we will carry you this could add some real dynamic interactions to the campaign and i really like it when the party are getting into these role-playing situations it really adds to the dynamics and of course can set up things that will remem be remembered for a long, long time. Staying with the finding the antidote sort of like idea, there could be a range of ideas for adventures about getting the antidote by thinking what it actually is. At this point, most GMs will go for rare plant or the blood or one crushed tooth of a mythical beast. But the antidote could be with a group of people or even one person. The group with the antidote might be a reclusive religious order that never allows anybody into their inner sanctum or even a group of bandits that are busy terrorizing the countryside. 
the party would have to use a lot of social interactions to gain the antidote or if they want to go in their heavy-handed brawn and fighting prowess or even they might go for the sneaky sneaky approach and of course things will be going according to plan right up to that final moment when the party has just grabbed the antidote and their spells and disguises fall away. Okay, let's switch now to adventures that we can create uh, surrounding the idea of the actual poison. So not finding the antidote, but finding a poison. So first of all, think of it might be a small hamlet or a small town that is being infested with either a rather aggressive weed or plant or even a, uh, a swarm of pests such as cockroaches or crickets or maggots or anything. It could be that the poison, a poison needs to be gathered in order to apply it to the plants or pests in order to free the town or the village. As the plant starts to take over crops and buildings and even maybe killing the odd cat or person, the party are sent out to locate, collect, harvest and probably hopefully return before the whole area and people are infected and destroyed. And talking about being destroyed, maybe the party need to find a poison because it's the only way that can kill that evil sorcerer who is leading their army to conquer the whole nation. I like situations like this because it can really provide a conflict for the party would they actually poison someone or their whole army? Would that really conflict with their morals and values? I can imagine some characters of perhaps a holy order not agreeing to send um, or to add poison to the enemy's drinking water and allowing the troops to die in a horrible pus filled death yeah i'm i'm sure the odd paladin or theist will have something to say about this and that's it my adventure ideas all to do with poisons if you found this video has got your creative brains flowing then do support the channel in any way you can and for more encounter ideas do check out my encounter rpg shop the link's in the description below. Until next time, this is the Gibbering GM heading back to his campaign. Enjoy your role playing, everyone. See ya. Bye.